K1 and MC Olomo paid by Obiapo Hitler to kill me. David Hondain cries out. Can you imagine? Who is Obiapo Hitler? This David Hondain is the young journalist, investigative journalist that has revealed a lot about Tinubu uh, life and records in the United States and also, um, you know, fought for Ecowas not to. Um, unleash war uh, on uh, on Niger Republic. Okay, so based on this, he has complained that the Nigerian government has been trying to seek alignment with the Ghanaian government to extradite him from Ghana, where he's having asylum right now, back to Nigeria for persecution, but that has not worked. He has allegedly mentioned threats to his life several times, but this time this is a key one now that he's saying that uh, some people have been paid to go and uh, you know assassinate him immediately and he has cried out now this is a serious one let's uh, go dive into a detail and see what he's trying to say controversial media journalist david hondain has taken to his official x page to review those paid to assassinate him um as for K1, the ultimate, and MC Oluomo, who have apparently been tasked with providing thugs and cover for the thugs to travel around the world looking for me, there are two things you should know. Getting rid of me won't stop the release of the drug lords FBI file, and neither will it stop West African Week from functioning. These things might have started with me, but they are now fully independent of me. You would merely be cutting off one head on uh, on a hydra, and two will remain. Two will replace it. And secondly, the question is not whether you are looking for me. The real question is: Am I looking for you? Because if a single hair on my head is touched, there is a seventy-nine percent chance you will not live to see the end of that calendar week. Hmm. I heard that the Hitler of Phobia pays very well, but are you going to live long enough to spend that money? That is the question. Wow. So what he's saying is the Hitler of Phobia and uh, and uh, MC Lomo have paid some people and they're giving them cover and everything to go and hunt for him, to hunt him down. So he's now letting the whole world know that these two uh, killer squad have um, you know uh, inaugurated people or rather assigned people to go around the world to go look for him and giving them cover and everything they need just to make sure they take him now but he is saying that uh, he's saying two things here one is getting rid of him won't stop the release of uh, uh, drug lords FBI file, and that is Tinubu we are talking about here. And again, his own uh, network, which is West African Week, um, will not stop functioning as well. So he's just one person, and as you take him down, two will replace him. So that is it. And secondly, it's not about whether they're looking for him, but is he looking for them? He is not looking for them. That is what he's saying. So what he's saying here again is that if a single hair of his head is touched, there is 97% chance that the person that touched him will not live to see the end of that calendar week. Ha. Now I'm saying this guy is, is tight too on his own part. Oh. I'm telling you, he's tight on his own part. That means uh, he also has his own network as well. Not a small one, I tell you. So he said he has heard that Hitler of Obi uh, pays very well. But are they going to live long enough to spend that money? That is not uh, sure. Okay. So that is what uh, he is trying to say here. That people have been commissioned to go and take him down. But he is not worried. But he just needs to let the world know that this is what is transpiring. I know that the Tinubu that uh, this guy is uh, dealing with or meddling with does not stop until he gets what he wants. It's just like in Herod of the Bible. He must get what he wants at all costs. So David Ondain knows what is happening. 
and I'm sure he's also watching his back and front, left, right, and center. But what he has done is also to, to the deliverance of certain of Nigerians because politicians in Nigeria have been so wicked now to a point that people are so incapacitated that the question is who can fight these evil politicians? Nobody. So this guy has taken it on. And I know Atiku and Obi are also taking it on at their own level in their own ways as well. And that should tell you that evil is just but for a moment. Very soon, everything will be overcome by the grace of God. So David Ondain has quickly revealed the people that have been commissioned to go and uh, take him down. But he's aware, he's watching his back. And uh, well, he has announced it. So if anything happens to him, we know where it's coming from. Okay, somebody say, can you prove that allegations you are a blackmailer? And another person saying you are a very stupid person. Can you imagine? How can you be okay? Oh, wow. They're insulting themselves here. And let me say, uh okay. When there is no new propaganda, you can still be relevant by looking for real and authentic news to publish. But no one will pay you. Uh, a MAGA money like Atiku. Can you imagine? So, somebody said, talk with sense. Wiki is an evil man. Abi? Abi smart team. So, this is because uh, the Hitler of Obi Akbo is uh, Wiki's man. Why MC Loma is Tinubu's man? So, I'm sure they have put themselves together. I can see where the whole thing is coming from. But I just hope what, uh, what this guy is saying might be true because he's very investigative journalist and he knows what he's saying we just need to watch out for all of these people nigerians can now know the extent mr nitsu Mwike went to steal peter obi's votes in river state for bolatinubu Mwike is more deadlier than bolatinubu i surely know him and his likes and his likes okay uh we pay for it soon and it's like he will pay for it soon i mean that is what he's saying uh, somebody said, tell us how many votes were stolen or else you remain in full forever. Can you imagine? Uh, somebody is just talking what they're saying there. They are beginning to insult themselves. I can't read that. Somebody said, dying for saying the truth is rewarding enough. But make sure your news is genuine as many of us is looking up to you for mentorship. Wow. That's what somebody is saying here. So somebody is already appreciating Hyundai for the investigative journalism that he's doing. I always say, I'm saying it again, if anybody was after your life, you would be long dead. You are very foolish not to know that your statement itself is implicating you. You just told the world now that you are planning to get these people killed. You are very unwise. Can you imagine? Can you imagine what he's trying to say? So he's being insulted there. Uh, somebody says, see whether you like it or not, your family generation needs liberation from the mental salary of poverty. Who is who are they talking to now? <laughs> it's always a God will judge everyone's deed. God is on the side of the truth. Exactly. That is what uh, uh, somebody is saying there. So David, uh, people are praying for him that God should sustain him. He just should just make sure what he's saying is the truth and God will protect him. That is it. That's just all he needs. So thank you for listening. And let's have your comments.